Boys and girls, guess what day it is? Time to find out who's in your division this fantasy season. Now, if you recall, we expanded to a 16-team format last year, four divisions of four. So that's what we're going to set up this year, four divisions of four. One division leader will make it out of their bracket automatically, no matter their record as the top performer. They will be seated one through four, and then there'll be four more wild cards from a mix of different divisions. In theory, they could all come from one division. So um, the way the math works out, it could happen. But win your division, automatic berth, four more wild cards, half the league is making the playoffs. Now, how do I present who's in whose bracket this year? Uh, well, I'm moving today, so all my paper and pens are currently locked away in boxes. I didn't think this through, but I promised you a Saturday video. So, here we go. I had to get a little bit creative. The only thing I have at this stage in my lifestyle right now that to write on is sidewalk chalk. So, who figured? Now, if you recall, um, in the past we've only had four people ever in the 12 years we've been playing win the championship. So, what I've decided to do to help with the disparity is put all of the champions in their own bracket. We'll call that the, now Bill Belichick's a cheater, uh, we'll call it the Lombardi division. That's where the winners go. So the rest of you guys have a good fighting shot because we put all the talent away and you'll beat it up on each other. So we'll start here. And this is what we will call the um, Hugh Jackson division. Um, this is where we got our newcomers, Hark, Brandon, Chance, and Dustin. Hark, Brandon obviously get a pass. Uh, in their first year, though, they really didn't make much of a splash, getting towards the end at the entries. Chance has won a few of his work leagues, so I know he's good at the game, just not with us. Um, can't prove it against the real players. And Dustin's had just awful, awful last few years in the fantasy. All right, the next bracket that we'll go to is what I like to call the Jeff Fisher bracket. Here we have Lode, notorious for being good but not being able to win a single game. Uh, Wes, Goodman, Welker, been in the playoffs a few times, also had some very down seasons, just overall meddling right in the middle, a la Jeff Fisher. Then we have the third and final bracket, what I like to call the Andy Reid bracket, and I think you'll find a common theme here. Um, we have a bunch of people who can win, get to the playoffs, but can't win the big games. Craig has actually been to three championships, but lost them all. Rich um, ends up in the majority of the seasons in the playoffs. Barnett is king of getting to the playoffs and being one and done. And Evans took it to the finals last year just to fall short and wanted to blame collusion. Classy individual. Either way, here we go. I think our setup on the scheduling will be I'm going to stage um, weeks one through nine um, against random opponents, and then weeks 10, 11, 12, and 13, or whatever. The last three games of the regular season will be against your division, so we're going to have the drama put right at the cusp of the playoffs. So that should allow for some good season-long entertainment. Uh, I think that's all I got. Start studying. I'll see you guys at the draft.